Jeff, thank you for joining us today. This is normally Cup of Joe, but I think today it's Tea with Troy. You're Jeff Brown, you're with our GIS department. So why don't you tell us a little bit how long you've been with the city and uh, kind of what you do on a daily basis. I've uh, been with the city a little over eight years now. Um, in GIS, we deal with all the map requests that any department in the city has, and we also maintain and update all the digital data dealing with the city's infrastructure. So I know I work with Kelly as well, and he handles all of our tax information that goes into all those systems. Why don't you tell us a little bit what it's like on a daily basis? We get requests from all over the city from dealing with taxes. Some people will have a map request for a certain project they have coming up, whether it be with outside surveyors or contractors or even with the council itself. I was involved with the uh, city's census project okay. that happened back in 2020, and that was, that was interesting. Right. So you guys have the maps of not only where all our streets are, but where all our infrastructure is, where everything is underground or above ground, everything that happens in the city, you guys know about it and make a map of it. Yes. Well, we do more than that. I mean, yes, we have maps about that and we update that when new subdivisions go in, when new projects go in. We deal with the streets and that information not only is helpful for just making maps, but it also is vital to the police and fire for their 911 dispatch, so we assist with that. So why don't you tell me a little bit about your personal life? Married, have kids? I am married. I have a daughter from my wife from a previous marriage. She's in her 30s and lives in Las Colinas, but yeah, we're, uh, we live over in uh, Cedar Hill and uh, run a small business. Okay, what small business do you have? Uh, we have a winery in Cedar Hill called Saviano. Okay, how's that going? It's going good. It's like with all small businesses, you know, there's ups and downs, but uh, you have to get creative sometimes and with your marketing and strategy and you make the best of it. So do y'all grow the grapes or do you buy the grapes? No, we, we don't grow. We don't have a vineyard. We, okay. uh, uh, we contract with growers around Texas, Hill Country, Panhandle. Reds, whites? Reds, whites. What we like to specialize in, at least uh, in Cedar Hills, are uh, what we call our country wines, our fruit wines. Okay. Uh, we've done peach, mango, blueberry, strawberry, okay. cranberry. You have a best seller? Probably the peach was our best seller. I mean, okay. some of our quickest ones that went through was the blueberry and the cranberry. Okay. Not only for their sweetness, uh, but they just had a really awesome taste to it, especially the cranberry. It had a really nice bite on the backside like cranberry. Right, right. You and I are usually probably arriving at the office about the same time every morning. Um, I've seen you drive a, a variety of cars, yeah. uh, right? <laughs> and I know, especially around Halloween, uh, in the past, I've seen you drive a Hearst. I see you have some custom other cars. Yeah. Why don't you tell us a little bit about that? Yeah, I'm very much into custom cars and trucks. I have a um, custom mini truck that you've seen. My Lexus is also custom. And yes, I did for a while have a 1968 Cadillac hearse that I did drive to the to the city on Halloween on occasions. Unfortunately, it is long gone. Okay. I traded it to have this my hot rod built. I had a 77 Toyota truck and I was wanting to make it into a, a special kind of hot rod. And I found a guy, a fabricator in another city, and he knew I had the hearse. I had actually had it for sale. And he's like, well, let's make a deal. I'll build this, this hot rod for you. You trade me the hearse. I said, awesome this made a deal and uh, still got a little ways to go it's not quite drivable yet but uh, it was great being able to do that because that was a lot of work so you're doing a lot of the work yourself or you're having somebody do it for you the, all the heavy uh, fabrication I have someone else do I don't have the facilities or the time to do that so all the little all the little intricacies I do myself okay we'll look forward to seeing that car at City Hall oh, yeah. too <laughs> you will. So, Joe, I always ask you to prepare for one question, right? And that's what is true north to you? My true north would be my wife. Um, a few years back, I decided to do a midlife career change. And the company she was working with at the time was using a lot of GIS. And she's like, well, why don't you look into this? This, this is really hot. They're uh -huh. really wanting these people. So I looked into it, went back to school for it had an internship with the City of Highland Village. And then after that, I came to work here for Mansfield. I, it's just been an awesome place to work at. The, not only just the city itself, but the people are just so great to work with. Great, yeah. appreciate that so much. So thank you for your time today. We appreciate that. We appreciate your time and, and kind of telling everybody what you do and, and kind of what GIS is, because I don't know that the rest of the organization knows. Hopefully this was a great experience for you and, and others to kind of know what, what you and Kelly do on a daily basis. Well, thank you. It was a pleasure.